The final band in Conference 6A is the Bridgeland High School Marching Band. Bridgeland High School's program is entitled Geometry of Red and includes Medea's Dance of Vengeance by Samuel Barber and original music by Aaron Guidry. Drum majors Maggie Quattle, Nathan Judson, Kevin Ostrowski, and Caleb Pencarena, you may begin your performance for the UIL State Marching Band Championships.
the Bridgeland High School Marching Band. The Bridgeland High School Marching Band is under the direction of Sean McIneer, Brent Marquardt, Bailey Moore, Chris Wynn, Ryan Page, and Fernando Rodriguez, with assistance from Willie Veenstra, Joel Makeda, and Cece Hernandez. The principal is Mike Smith, and superintendent is Dr. Mark Henry. Bridgeland is in its fourth year of existence as the newest CFISD campus. They're a BOA Class 2A Houston Regional Champion, three-time UIL Sweepstakes Award winner. The Drumline and Winter Guard are both WGI Regional Finalist, and the Guard was a TCGC Class State Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for the Bridgeland High School Marching Band. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's 6A state championship. Let's hear it for some of the finest bands in Texas. We are not finished yet. Before long, student leaders from our state contest bands will assemble on the field as we announce the results and bring this year's marching 6A band season in Texas to a close. At this time, student representatives from each band should be in the awards retreat staging area. Last but certainly not least, the Bridgeland High School Band. I'm joined by their drum majors. Please welcome them, please. Can you introduce yourselves to our audiences? I'm Kevin, and I'm a senior. I'm Nathan, and I'm a uh, senior. Caleb Pinker, and I'm a senior. My name is Maggie, and I'm a junior. Wonderful. So I want to start with you, young lady. This, um, those of you that don't know Bridgeland High School, Bridgeland is a newer campus, and this is their first time at the state marching contest. Give them a round of applause. Can you talk about that journey, what it's been like, what it's been like this year for you to be here today? So obviously we're a new school, so it's super cool that we get to be here. And we're all super excited because we worked really hard, and especially this year, there's a lot of uncertainty. So we're really lucky and happy to be here. Well, congratulations on achieving this success. Can you talk to us, gentlemen, just a couple of your favorite memories that jump out throughout the entire year? Uh, yeah, some of my favorite memories is just making the amazing friends that are just part of band and the band community, especially in Bridgeland. I made some really great friends this year, and I just hope I can make friends like that in the future. But these, these relationships will last a lifetime. Yes, they will. Some of my very best friends I made in high school band. Absolutely. How about for you? Uh, some of my favorite memories, I would say, is probably like when we found out we made state, especially with like all the uncertainty going into the marching season and knowing that we put in the, sh the work for the show. It it's awesome that we found out we made state and we were super excited, and that's probably one of my favorite memories of the whole season. I bet the band went nuts, huh, at the area contest, for sure. How about for you? Who, someone that you might be thankful for or something you're thankful for? You have the you have the microphone for everyone. Um, there's just so many. Like I like. All the friends I've made along the way, my mom and dad, you know, for getting me here, of course. Uh, these three right here, but uh, all of all the people I'm thankful for uh, led me to this situation right here, and that's it's pretty good. So, you know, I'm very thankful for everyone. So. Let's give it up one more time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Bridgeland High School Band. I would also say for all of you, let's give it up one more time. If you liked anything throughout the last two days of exceptional music making and visual display, can you give all of the students from yesterday, 2A and 4A, and all day today, the 6As, a rousing standing ovation. 
incredible work by all the programs and the communities and the band directors and the administrators and the students. Thank you very much for being here in support. Great job. The purpose of the University Interscholastic League is to organize and properly supervise contests that assist in preparing students for citizenship. Since 1910, the UIL has grown into the largest interschool organization of its kind in the world. Learn more about UIL's legacy of extracurricular education at UILTexas.org. Hello everyone, John Pollard, your UIL Marching Band Contest State Announcer here, along with Sean McIneer, Director of Bands at Bridgeland High School in Cypress, Texas, a school that's only four years old, but has a senior class that might be the role model for coping with 2020. Sean, it's great to connect with you today. Great to see you, John. So. In 2020, we're doing Marching Band in December, which sets the tone for this story. But let's go back and discuss the opening of your school in 2017. Can you tell us about those first days at Bridgeland High School? Yeah, we school wasn't ready to be opened from, from delays. So three days before school was supposed to be open. They opened the doors. They let us in that Friday. Hurricane Harvey. Everybody go home at noon. And then fast forward two weeks, and that's how we pretty much opened the school was right there during Hurricane Harvey and everything. You know, fortunately, in, in our community, things were, were, were fine, and other places in the district were, were a little different, but but we managed to, to weather that all right. But, um, yeah, so we started with, with you know, a l- little bit of a hiccup with, with, the, with the way things were supposed to be. And you also started out with ninth and 10th graders. There were not juniors or seniors along for the ride. So you were helping ninth and 10th graders cope through this. Right, right. So 130 ninth and 10th graders uh, starting at a junior high was where we did our rehearsals on a grass field, um, which for us in, in 6A here, here in Houston, that's, that's a little out of the ordinary, um, you know, to say the least. So since that time, the Bridgeland High School Band has managed to achieve some terrific high watermarks. Can you talk about the process of raising a class from ninth grade through senior year and some of the highlights? Yeah, we've titled each of the shows something to kind of do with, with our growth and our goals as a program um, and the process at which we're going to go about this. We really don't talk about results. We kind of buy into the Nick Saban process 
formula and the, the do your job. You know, we have a we have a great time. We have fun. The very first show we did was believe. It was like, hey, believe in this process. We're going to do things a little differently. Uh, the next year we did watercolors, but it was kind of a, a Monet water lilies type thing. It's like, hey, this is our chance to start to bloom. We're going to grow up a little bit. We have juniors. Um, the show last year, which was our first with our partial senior class, was Be Someone. And that was our opportunity to go out and a little iconic to Houston also, but this is our chance to show everybody who we are to be someone. And, and I know, yeah, I know, Sean, I was going to say, I know you've had, uh, you've achieved on the national stage as well, uh, attending national festival. Right. And, you know, we've done that um, with Cypress Falls, where, where I was before, but um, with this current senior class, when I was named director of bands at Bridgeland, the junior or sorry the junior high kids were at Salyers middle school and they went to the national concert band festival that year and I took the trip with them right after being named and got to hang with these seniors as eighth graders there in Indianapolis which was just a great time and a great experience that's tremendous so you've really taken a ride with these kids I know your school's mission is to empower all students to become caring and contributing citizens who can succeed in an ever-changing world. Well, they've certainly walked that path, and you'll be marching in your area contest tonight as we do this recording. As you look forward and backward to all that's been achieved, is there something your band members have consistently done to overcome adversity that you might suggest to any students listening or any adults listening for that matter? You know, we're, we're, we're fortunate. We, we have great kids. They, they try hard. They work hard. They, they want to do everything the right way. Um, when we had the heart to heart about what marching man was going to be like, you know, they were definitely concerned. We canceled our Grand Nationals trip, and that was going to be a book into to us meeting them as eighth graders, and we were going to go back to Indy with the marching man. And, you know, there was a lot of concern about, well, what's going to happen? Are we going to do this or not? And we said, Hey, we've got protocols, follow the rules, wear the mask, wear the face shields, stay six feet apart, you know, do the things that we're asking you to do, and we'll see where this journey takes us. And they have been absolutely fantastic with it. Um, and, and it's been a joy to take this journey, you know, with them during these, you know, five years, going back to when they were eighth graders when I met them, and just seeing where we are and, and the fact that we're going to, March tonight on December 5th in area. I mean, I, I would not have thought that. And walking in from a, quote, competitive rehearsal the other day to Mariah Carey, you know, Christmas music uh, and stuff is, that, that's more reminiscent of a playoff game than a, we're getting ready for area. <laughs> well, in life, as in music, do the right thing and the results take care of themselves. It sounds like that's happened. Best wishes to you. They opened in a hurricane. They were the first class to advance through 10th and 11th grade and will graduate on the heels of an earth-stopping pandemic. Our respect and thanks to the members of the Bridgeland High School Band. Hello, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome your 6A state championship student leaders. Let's hear it for the Marcus High School Marching Band, the Seven Lakes High School Marching Band, the Harlingen High School Marching Band, the Dawson High School Marching Band, the Woodlands High School Marching Band, the Hebron High School Marching Band, the Del Rio High School Marching Band, the Waxahachie High School Marching Band, the Jack C. Hayes High School Marching Band, the Wiley High School Marching Band, the Cypress Woods High School Marching Band, the Oak Ridge High School Marching Band, the Harlingen South High School Marching Band, 
the Coppell High School Marching Band, the Tompkins High School Marching Band, the Lake Travis High School Marching Band, the Flower Mound High School Marching Band, the Claudia Taylor Johnson High School Marching Band, the Pearland High School Marching Band, and the Bridgeland High School Marching Band. Assembled before you are student leaders from today's 6A State Marching Contest bands. Ladies and gentlemen, the young people on the field at this ceremony not only lead the talented bands that performed for you today, in this challenging year, they represent far more. At this moment, let these student leaders represent every student leader in every band across Texas. Let them represent every band member who marched this season. Let these band members stand on this field for every band member who wanted to march this year, but could not. As we bring 2020 to a close, let the band members before you stand tonight on behalf of all high school band members across the state of Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are thankful for all of today's wonderful performances and you support every band member who has faced challenge with courage this year, now is the time to stand up and let them hear it. Thank you. Today's state championship awards will be presented by UIL State Director of Music, Dr. Brad Kent, and UIL Assistant Director of Music, Gabe Musella. And now the results of this year's 6A State Marching Band Championship. Receiving the trophy for 10th place, please congratulate the Cypress Woods High School Marching Band. Receiving the trophy for ninth place. Please congratulate the Seven Lakes High School Marching Band. receiving the trophy for eighth place. Please congratulate the Coppell High School Marching Band. receiving the trophy for seventh place. Please congratulate the Waxahachie High School Marching Band.
receiving the trophy for sixth place. Please congratulate the Pearland High School Marching Band. receiving the trophy for fifth place. Please congratulate the Woodlands High School Marching Band. receiving the trophy for fourth place. Please congratulate the Marcus High School Marching Band. receiving the trophy for third place and your 2020 Texas UIL Conference 6A bronze medalist. Please congratulate the Flower Mound High School Marching Band. receiving the trophy for second place and your 2020 Texas UIL Conference 6A silver medalist. Please congratulate the Hebron High School Marching Band. Receiving the trophy for first place, your 2020 gold medalist and your Texas UIL Conference 6A state marching band champion, please congratulate the Claudia Taylor Johnson High School Marching Band.
ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of friendly competition, let's hear it again for all of your 2020 UIL State Championship bands. On behalf of the University Interscholastic League, congratulations to all who participated. Drum majors, congratulations, you are dismissed.